Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. First of all, a big thanks to all of you for your support, for your likes and comments. I will just mention that um, I will keep my promise that each time we reach uh, 100 likes, I will, use, uh, I will choose one of you from the comments section to uh, win uh, one month uh, free subscription to my trading room. We already have one winner and um, more are very welcome to join. So yeah, hit that like button, write a comment and you will be able to join that uh, opportunity. Uh, I'm very sorry for my voice today because I had uh, the flu for a couple of days now and I'm still not really recovered but I still want to uh, give you this weekly overview. So guys, while I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, uh, a quick look at the calendar and as you see a uh, lot of uh, speech uh, next week, uh, most of them going to be uh, Fed Chair Powell, we're going to speak three times starting on uh, Monday, Tuesday we have uh, Governor Carney to speak and then uh, Fed Chair Powell again, Wednesday uh, crude oil inventory, Fed Chair Powell and FOMC uh, meeting minutes, uh, Thursday GDP month-to-month -month manufacturing production from uh, for the sterling, uh, Chinese uh, new loans, and uh, Governor, uh, Governor Carney to speak again, and ECB monetary uh, uh, policy meeting accounts, to then New York session CPI month-to-month -month and core CPI for the US, very important uh, events to look at. And we end the week on Friday with employment change and unemployment rate for the CAD, also a big mover for the CAD pairs really important to keep an eye on that as well uh, we will start with uh, the dixie as uh, usual and we see that on the daily time frame uh, the dixie was attempting to continue this uh, bullish momentum with higher highs and higher lows uh, here uh, but failed to um, make a strong push to the upside and got rejected uh, strongly uh, to the downside uh, and um, this could be uh, still a possible retest of this area for more uh, continuation i still think the dollar long term gonna reach this uh, hundred dollar uh, mark up here but uh, maybe short term um, some correction to the downside what's gonna be a key level here is this uh, trend line to keep an eye on that if reach it if we go down to the four hour time frame uh, what's also important here is uh, if this uh, will keep being below the monthly uh, pivot point here so if there is no break above this area and we see a break below this level instead then there is a possibility for more downside for the dollar short term to then maybe start looking for a uh, bullish move so keep an eye on this level this is going to be an important uh, area here if broken more downside is possible or if we see a break to the upside from this little range range here on the one hour uh, if uh, something like this happened that you see the break above retest hold if the hold above it then you may see a continuation but as for now as you see on the four hour and the one hour time frame we had um, a uh, sequence of uh, strong uh, momentum to the downside with lower lows and lower highs looking at the momentum of these candles here showing that the bears are still in control so far we have some kind of consolidation range if the break happened look for more downside to that trend line oil and after a, a retest of a key level uh, to the downside kept pushing lower following the stock market which was moving uh, lower the last uh, week uh, couple of weeks uh, did reach a key level of support so if we look left we see that this area here is a very very important level for uh, oil traders as you see been acting uh, many many times as uh, support and resistance especially lately here as you see so uh, very strong and important uh, support level we've got um, a test of that and then followed by possible morning star formation with a close at the high of the previous candle and 
downturn and after such a strong push to the downside there is a potential correction now to look for RSI at the oversold as well if we go down to the four hour time frame we have some kind of inverted head and shoulder possibility here but the neckline still no not broken if that the case and we see a break above the neckline and then the retest hold above it then there is a potential short term upside on oil and um, keep an eye down here at this level if got retested again the 51 area is an important level if retested yen and uh, did not break then you could look for a buy uh, to change that uh, possible uh, reversal um, scenario here we need to see a break below uh, this area so if a strong break below this area happen that will open the door for more downside because there is nothing on the way here as you see it's an empty area until we reach uh, 42 uh, level uh, but keep an eye on the stock market if the stock market start uh, or continue pushing higher uh, oil may also push higher as well if we take a look at the s p 500 you see that after uh, reaching the 200 uh, the daily 200 moving average uh, almost reached that we start seeing a uh, push to the upside and um, if we see a continuation here that may help oil but the stock market or the s p 500 at least did reach a key level uh, soon here uh, it's gonna be an important area to see if the bear is gonna defend that because after such a break one could look for a retest and maybe continuation so it's gonna be very very important to to keep an eye on this area because oil um, will get affected as well gold still going uh, sideways inside this range so uh, on the daily time frame we had uh, this high tested to then uh, push lower making a new major lower high uh, push lower making a new major lower low and uh, we were looking for a uh, continuation to the downside i'm still looking for possibility to reach this level before uh, any continuation higher so on the four hour time frame uh, it is channeling here inside this area and i was looking that we may reach the top of that to then look for another uh, push lower and um, we did reach uh, the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, we could not break above it as you see here and here and uh, we failed to make a new high uh, with this candle uh, and it did print a um, pretty strong bearish uh, engulfing candle so uh, for gold i think uh, if we break this neckline now then there is a possibility for that continuation to the downside another possibility is that you see if you see gold pushing higher especially if we reach this level here slowly to then look for a possible scenario like we had here and here uh, previously for the um, channeling to the downside to continue euro usd uh, looking on the daily time frame what we have is a, a bearish still a bearish structure i still think this market in the longer term gonna close this macron gap looking left here but uh, maybe some short term continuation to the upside especially a, a possibility to reach uh, this uh, trend line up here so what we had last week was this uh, inverted head and shoulder the neckline got broken uh, both ways this way and horizontally uh, it got broken and uh, if the price keep holding above this area where we have the monthly pivot point then there is a possibility for another attempt to the upside at least short term trade to the upside is possible here and uh, when and if the market reach this uh, trend line you need to be aware of possible rejection as we had here previously yeah so for euro to really keep pushing to the upside it need to break out of this channel and then on the retest we need to see that the market holding above it for that continuation so again short term look for a possible bounce to the upside as far as this area is holding as support then there is a possibility for one more leg to the upside after this sequence of higher highs and higher lows then we reached here and we lost momentum start making some kind of triangle so be aware of that this area here gonna be a very very important level if broken then we may continue already from this uh, level to the downside but first off keep an eye on this for a possible support if that is the case look for a possible short-term buy here 
Sterling USD also um, did a nice uh, push to the upside here during this move after double bottoming here did reach a key level of resistance looking left we knew that this area gonna be important and we were watching that area as well but what happened here was now uh, we have a sequence of higher highs and higher lows we did a retest of 618 and then we got a bounce the one thing that we didn't get is a nice momentum from here yeah the body of these candles here are not showing us strong momentum and um, to let us say that we gonna surely get another attempt to the upside but we have some clues here that that could be the case if we look on the four hour time frame and after this double bottom we had a break of the neckline retest and possibly continuation so keep an eye on this area now for next week any uh, retest to this area i think this level gonna be an important uh, structure here uh, monthly pivot point as well uh, been acting as nice support so far so keep an eye on this area for next week if retested the and you get bullish evidence then you may get, uh, get that um, one more leg to the upside happening here on this market usd jappy also um, did reach um, an important level so after this break above this uh, area here we got a major higher high we were looking for a retest and continuation but what happened last week was we failed to make a new high here as you see so we had a nice momentum candle followed by three daily candles that have a bad momentum small bodies uh, showing that the bulls may be losing steam to then see that at the retest failed to make a new high printed bearish engulfing candle and that was the key signal that more downside here so we got more downside and now we testing the um, neckline of this inverted head and shoulder uh, followed by rejection thursday and friday a um, doji candle showing also that the beers may not have the steam to keep pushing lower so uh, pretty interesting uh, and we need to keep an eye on this level for now uh, where we had this uh, neckline now it is really getting retested and um, friday we ha uh, or last week we had first rejection to then another rejection on friday bullish engulfing uh, showing that uh, this level now is an important level still and uh, we should keep an eye on this for a possible bounce to the upside we may end up going sideways here something like this uh, if a break below this happened then that will open the door for uh, a move to 105 but as for now keep watching here for possible bullish evidence and maybe another attempt to push higher usd chief failed at uh, a key level looking left we knew that this area is an important level of um, support and resistance based mostly on the last push from this level so the last time the market reached this area we had a very very strong push to the downside and now when we tested here first day second day here we could not make a new high we had an equal highs and friday we had a lower high so this showing all the wicks here showing that still there is uh, beers uh, fighting at this level if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we start having this rounded top but still um this is making higher highs and higher lows anyway and um it is still could do something like this and give you another push to the upside uh, we having this these deep corrections every time but really if you really to want looking to short this market you want to see a break below this trend line and below the 200 moving average on the four hour to then start looking for some kind of flag and that would be uh, your signal for much more downside so for now keep an eye on this level for possible support and if the market keep uh, start pushing higher directly on the open you need to keep an eye on this area because that will give you a possible sell as well so those are the levels to work with to ditch the short idea i want to see a break above this level that hold above it to then start looking to target monthly r2 on this market USDCAD and as you know from uh, last week and the week before I was looking for um, after this break retest and continuation 
we entered the trade but since then the market start going like this to then make a fake move to the downside trap sellers make a push to the upside breaking this high so now the break above this high make me a little bit worried and i'm probably looking to close this trade before uh, um, a stop loss so um, here is my plan since i am in the trade already if the market give me a retest to my entry i may close it and um, regroup and wait for more signals if not i will keep it because there is a possibility that this market tag this high and then start reversing yeah so um depends what your plan and if you are not in the trade because there is still this possibility that may happen we have this impulse and now we're having this correction inside this channel yeah and either one more up or if anything break and continue so be aware of that it is not fun to be short against such a candle so i totally understand if you find it uh, a good idea to close your trade since we have a break above this previous high a strong one also so um, be aware of that guys and just letting you know what are the scenarios here but actually as far as this high is not broken strongly this downside move is still possible but if we see that happening and we have a strong break even above this high then it's really game over and the bulls will keep pushing higher Aussie USD also reached a key level of support looking at the weekly time frame we know that uh, it is empty area below here if this break happens so there is a big potential for <laughs> the bears here if they break but they did not manage so the weekly candle here was a rejection from a key level that we had another uh, push uh, to the upside from this area so this area showing us it is a very very important level as you see here so uh, if we go down to four hour time frame we see that we had a double bottom we had a break of the neckline and the question is uh, how far this will go i still think the market objective is to at least tag this level here before some kind of correction it did move a lot here so what i'm looking for here uh, a is a potential uh, counter trend trade uh, a reversal counter this uh, major trend to the downside but i need to wait to see where will this uh, correct um, move end and start making correction uh, if the case is to be toward the 200 moving average on the four hour then i will draw my fibonacci retracement from that area when i start seeing the correction happening i would love to see a correction to 618 and this neckline to then start looking for bullish evidence for the continuation so that is my plan unless we see a break below this area as far as this holding as support it is it gonna still be a buy level here we moved nicely from this area previously and right now we started already doing something like that so some kind of correction here if we have a higher low that would be a nice counter trend trade uh, in my opinion new zealand usd almost the same scenario it did reach this very important level looking left if we look at the weekly time frame we know that it is a uh, no man's land below this level so this should be defended and uh, as far as we have evidence of defense here we should be looking to uh, to buy it so last week we had a nice uh, attempt here and uh, they broke the neckline and kept pushing higher reached the 200 moving average in this previous structure so i'm looking for some correction to the downside same as aussie usd any retest to 618 that's showing me bullish evidence i will try to go long here for a possibility uh, of a, a reversal to start here if the stock market to keep pushing higher as it does last friday uh, and thursday here as you see uh, then aussie new zealand new zealand and cad gonna be um, strong markets and uh, we should be uh, buying those but if the stock market to uh, start uh, continuing um, sell off again then um, these pairs gonna be weak once again in any case guys any br strong break above this 
will signal more upside any break below this will signal game over insert coins and we're gonna get our longer term trade here looking at the monthly we know that this is a very very important level down here so any strong break below that it will really be game over and the longer term move to the downside to start happening but as for now we are still uh, holding at this key support level looking left here we have also the bodies of these candles that may act as support as well so this is a pretty interesting level for the bulls to try and defend so let's wait and see so i told you what my plan is now it's up to you to follow your plan so that was the last beer for this week thanks a lot guys and uh, see you next week bye bye